All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Green Skull Revived mod, which was originally made by form user Green Skull. It's now been revived by user Jeriaya. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an absolutely amazing looking new spacesuit for your Kerbals to wear, with quite a few different options for customization of it which is awesome so let's take a look here at uh, the suit itself the uh, green skull spacesuit which as you can see is this just amazing black spacesuit with loads of good green trim some fun details like the green skull badge but my personal favorite bit is on the back of the helmet of the standard green skull spacesuit as you can see there we have little icons that represent the a profession or job of that particular Kerbal as well as their star ranking which is awesome now here's the downside though you have to physically choose that at least uh, kind of choose that for all of the Kerbals individually and how you do this is through the mod dependency you will need to make this mod function the texture replacer and with that installed you can choose what specific green skull spacesuit your Kerbal has by heading down to the texture replacer button here, opening up that UI, and then selecting the Kerbal and going through by using these uh, different arrow keys here to choose which profession you want. Now, thankfully, if you go all the way down to the bottom, you can actually choose the specific ones for specific professions. So, Pilot is going to use that texture, engineer, that one, scientist, that one, tourist, that one. Here's the thing though, uh, this mod comes with a lot more than just those four basic professions. In fact, if we go back up to Jebediah, or actually uh, Loli as she's at the start of the list here, we have the new biologist. And of course, beyond that, you have engineer, farmer, the geologist, colonist, Mechanic, Medic, Miner, Pilot, Quartermaster, Scientist, Scout, Technician, and finally the Tourist with no icon on the back of the helmet whatsoever. So all in all you have 14 different uh, spacesuits to choose from here, each one representing a different job for that Kerbal. But it gets better than that, because that's with the standard Green Skull spacesuit. We also, if you see this button right here, have the future variations, which are all the same 14 different professions. But as you can see here on the screen now, it is a far more awesome sci-fi looking uh, spacesuit with a camera on the side, a much more interesting texture option in my opinion, some in odd looking armor pieces it seems, and of course being futuristic, it glows. When you turn on the headlamps for that Kerbal, he's gonna glow like he's in Tron and I love that. So you have both the classic version and the future version in 14 different professions, giving you quite a few different spacesuits to choose from. So let's actually head out here to the launch pad where I've got the standard first four Kerbals here. In the two different suits, we can just take a little bit more of a closer look at them here. So we have uh, Valentina here in the classic one with the uh, pilot emblems on there and of course we can remove the helmet and we've got like the nice green ring around the inside and it is just all in all a good looking suit and you can see that there is also the emblem not just on the back and side of the helmet there but also on the spacesuit itself
which is very nicely detailed. I do like the uh, fabric sort of texture weave that's on that. It looks good with these colors. Of course, it is just retexturing the standard suit and all, but uh, it, it looks good with these colors. I do very much like it. And all just the little uh, details all around is pretty cool. Now, if we go to uh, whichever one this is in the futuristic suit, oh yeah. Now, we of course do still have the emblems on the back and side of the helmet and of course the one on the chest there. But yeah, I love just the armor looking plating on this thing. You got pauldrons on this. It's just very cool looking. And the texture, rather than being just uh, sort of that solid fabric-like texture, is more of a detailed thing going on there, a bit smoother. And of course we can, if I turn back on the UI, remove this helmet too, which sadly does get rid of the camera, but the rest of the suit does still glow even without the helmet on, which is just amusing. I do do really like that. Uh, and yeah, we'll turn uh, his lights on too, because why not? Who doesn't want to glow? It's just beautiful looking. And you can adjust the color of it. So if you don't want to go with the uh, standard orange, which is the default here, yeah, you can make it go whatever color you so desire, and that just makes it all the much more fun to play around with because you not only get a cool sci-fi suit but you can just customize it further beyond the standard profession patch all in all making it i think one of the coolest spacesuits i've seen in quite some time and honestly i don't really look at spacesuits all that often we've i think only looked at one other spacesuit on the channel i believe but still a fun addition to the game. So, uh, yeah, that's really all to go over with on this. Not a whole lot of things. I mean, it's a texture replacer. You get some cool spacesuits with loads of professions, and who wouldn't want that? So if you'd like to take a look at this for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this episode. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next win, hopefully. We'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod, but until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.